today i am going to discuss about types of brakes so welcome to my youtube channel mechanical engineering management so let's start with the function of the brake a brake is a device by means of which artificial frictional resistance is applied to a moving machine member in order to retard or stop the motion of a machine during this process brake absorbs kinetic energy of the system and converts it into any other form of energy generally it is in the form of heat energy in order to stop a moving system so brake is a device by means of which artificial frictional resistance is applied to stop or retard the motion of a machine now application of the brakes generally they are used in automobiles particularly on the end of the shafts and axles of the vehicles now types of brakes or you can say the classification of brakes so brakes are generally classified as block brake band brake internal expanding shoe brake or sometimes it is called as drum brake and at last disc brake now let's see one by one block brake is also classified in two different category single block brake and double block brake this is the single block brake and this one is the double block brake here you can see single block is used that's why it is called as single block brake here double blocks are used and so that it is called as double block brake now band brake is also classified in two group simple band brake and differential band brake here you can see this one is the simple band brake and this one is the differential band brake now internal expanding shoe brake is also known as drum brake and here you can see these are actually the shoes and that is actually expanded when the brake is applied that's why it is called as internal expanding shoe brake and here drum is used and so that it is called as the drum brake and at last disc brake so here you can see the disc is used and that's why it is called as the disc brake and we will see all these brakes one by one so let's start from the first one single block brake so in this figure you can see the single block is used that's why it is called as the single block brake function it is a device by means of which artificial frictional resistance is applied to a moving machine member in order to retard or stop the motion of a machine next construction it consists of a block which is pressed against a ream of revolving brake wheel drum here you can see the block is made of softer material than the ream of the wheel because it is very easy to replace the block instead of this wheel ream now next principle the friction between block and wheel causes a tangential braking force to act on the wheel which retard the rotation of the wheel working the block is pressed against wheel by a force applied at the end of a lever as shown in this figure so this p is actually the effort that is applied the other end of this lever is pivoted on a fixed fulcrum so here you can see o point is the fixed fulcrum or you can say the fixed point of the lever now application of the single block brake it is commonly used on railway trains here you can see 
and tram cars means rail vehicle that runs on a tracks along a public urban street here you can see and this figure you can use in the examination for the single block break here you can see the single block is used this is the wheel or you can say the drum here the effort is applied with the help of this lever and this one is the fixed point so it is known as fulcrum now it's done for the double block break so here you can see two blocks are used and that's why it is called as double block break function it is a device by means of which artificial frictional resistance is applied to a moving machine member in order to retard or stop the motion of a machine so why double block break so very simple in a single block an additional load that is exerted on the shaft here you can see rn that means normal reaction this normal force produces bending of the shaft in order to overcome this a double block break is used as shown in this figure so this is the single block break and here it is double block break so very simple figure single block is used whereas in case of double block break double block used so from this figure you can understand the difference of single block break and double block break now principle the friction between block and wheel causes a tangential braking force to act on the wheel which retard the rotation of the wheel construction it consists of two brake blocks applied at the opposite end of a diameter of the wheel here you can see which eliminate or reduces the unbalanced force on the shaft now working of the double block brake so in this figure you can see double blocks are used this is the fulcrum similarly over here these are the fulcrum and these are the two blocks so both the figures are almost similar only the respective position is actually at 90 degree angle when a force p is applied to the bell crank lever this is the lever the spring is compressed and the brake is released this type of brake is often used on electric cranes where force p is produced by an electromagnetic or solenoid so once again the very important point when force p is applied to the bell crank lever the spring is compressed and the brake is released so when you apply the force p in this downward direction the brake is released means when the current is switch off there is no force on the lever in case of electromagnetic or solenoid the brake is engaged automatically due to the spring force and thus there will be no any downward movement of the load so in this particular situation the double block brake is used if you want to see more engineering videos then subscribe my youtube channel and go to playlist thanks my dear friends press the like button to appreciate this video